It is truly the end of all intelligence when a lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X-8, just as X-8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days, the sadness of my youth, my youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated, you little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Ooh. All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns kill. Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft wooing. Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If we're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun, with the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? Fine. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. Let's see. Hollow point? That's worthless, but tasty. Oh, and here's some JFP. As if bullets need jackets. The JFP might make it ill and poop a lot, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. The sonic emitter should be sterilized and more than enough for you to encircle your warm hands around, cradling it gently with your finger muscles. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving. Forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost our access passes, Dr. O... That only happened once. And I know you were behind stealth fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. Dr. O, you rewind that comment. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes. 
Surprised the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Yes, but not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of the stupid labs. Or inside one of the stupid pets. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Berg Mountain shall be fielded with force. Forever. Fine, so, yes. Get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Wait, is it leaving? But, it's not a climb. The lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer my chambers, so it might be stared at. My monitor radar slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We could give it Mobius' old room. This is where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there. With my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic, combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free, has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange routines? What, like stuff? Things? Yes, things. I don't know. Might be some old Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency, per se. Still might be enough to trick the sink's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive, and of high decibel. Enough! Surrender these so-called bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid ship chokes on them. Are there other chips? Are you echoing what he said, or are you asking for real? He's asking, yes. Dr. Klein, there are many other personalities. If you recall, you hurled them off the sink balcony after your argument with Mobius. It is not an argument if one is clearly right and the other is clearly wrong. I remember now. Yes, Lobotomite, there are other chips. If you want, find them. I believe they're stored on holotapes in many of our facilities. But you should stay out of those. No exploring and discovering things. The sink central intelligence should be enough for your... <laughs> needs. Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go! 
Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go man your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. 30 bloody minutes of that stuff. 30 minutes of nothing happening. Uh, but some I can't speak for some reason. Have you done all we asked? If not, we will not hesitate to ask again. Has you Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson. A caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, Bad we guys, definitely want you. Coming. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the happy trip. If so... Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Indubitably, sir, but it is with a great lugubriousness that I must disclose that my program has installed only the masculine honorific, sir. Moreover, they neglected to enclose a parameter by which said honorific might be omitted altogether. Over my most strenuous of remonstrances, sir. In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any goods, sir, might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Very good, sir. If I might suggest a table wine, 
Atomic Claret is a lovely little vintage. Intruder, you will not escape the eyes of my robo scorpions or their pincers. For the brotherhood. For the Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> 